AITA for telling a five-year-old that I am not her family? My father has way too many children. As of this year, he's up to 11 children with six different mothers. Two kids with mom one. My older sisters. Two kids with mom two. Myself and my younger sister. One kid with mom three. Two kids with mom four. One kid with mom five. And three kids with mom six. Moms one and two decided to live together and raise their kids together. So I, my younger sister, and my two older sisters grew up together 100% of the time. We decided a long time ago that we, meaning the four of us, were the only siblings we were going to have. No claiming any other children he may have as siblings or even acknowledging them if we could help. It, I know it sounds bad, but on a practical level, we had to draw a line somewhere. We've made our stance clear. Our moms and our father are fine with it but the other moms aren't. Mom 5 really isn't, despite never having met her kid. She insists to everyone that will listen that we are her kid's siblings. Her kid is now in kindergarten. Without us knowing, she put my oldest sister and I on the emergency contact list as her kid's siblings. Last week, the school called us to come get her because she was sick. We wanted to ignore it, but they demanded that we come in and made threats. So we decided to go to the school to make it clear that they needed to take us off the list we went into the office and went off. That that child was not family and not our sibling. That we were not responsible for her in any way and that it was extremely irresponsible fought them to even want us to take her because we were strangers off the street who didn't know this kid at all. They had brought her into the office while we were talking. So she heard all of this. The school let us go and hopefully took us off the list Mom 5 called us later that night absolutely. Furious that we did all that to a little kid. She was adamant that she views us as family and that we broke her heart in front of everyone. She wants us to apologize because what we did was inappropriate. We don't think so. We didn't know the kid was going to be there, but it had to be said anyway, and she was going to figure out the truth. It's not personal at all. The thing with her school was exactly why we cut off who was going to be a sibling with the four of us. We didn't want unending obligations to an ever-growing list of people. Claiming to be a sibling means something. Mom 5 insists that we owe her daughter this because she is the only one who doesn't have a full sibling and she needs this mom three is a long story our family is divided our moms think that we should have made sure the kid wasn't in the room first but aren't sure if we should apologize or not because it might encourage her our father doesn't care that much mostly because he has his sons now but thinks we should apologize just to shut her up so none of us have to keep hearing about it my sister doesn't want to say anything because she thinks mom 5 and the kid need to learn that none of this is her problem. I'm torn. AITA? Your dad isn't running for Congress, is he? NTA. Mom 5 isn't playing with a full deck. Who puts total strangers down as an emergency contact for their kid? That's nuts so. NTA you drew a line. Why wasn't Daddy Dearest the emergency contact? Mom 5 has zero regard for your boundaries. She had no right to force you and your sister into being her kids' emergency contacts. Also, are you sure your dad isn't Nick Cannon? NTA. ETA. Thanks for my first ever award. I would love to know what threats the school made. All you should have had to say is, I don't know that child, and that's it. They would have continued to try to contact the mother, father. NTA. It is way out of line to list anyone as an emergency contact without telling them. It's even less okay to list someone who has never met the child. It's unfortunate that the kid overheard. But how traumatic can it have been to hear that from someone she's never met? 
Regardless, her mom created the situation. Not you. You have no obligation to have a relationship with everyone who shares DNA with you. NTA. Wow. This is messy. You aren't parents. And you aren't responsible for your father's other offspring. I don't understand why he wasn't the one put on the emergency contact list. And for what it's worth. If you'd never met Kid. How would you even have recognized that she'd been brought into the office while you were? Explaining that you weren't responsible for her? Info why does mom5 have your phone numbers if you don't have contact with her? NTA. You are not to be an emergency contact for a child you have never even met. You have made your boundaries perfectly clear. She tried to stomp all over them. And you showed her that wasn't going to work. NTA. Not your kid. Not your problem. You don't even know the child. If mom 5 wants her child to have a sibling so much. She should be talking. Or something else. With the dad. Listing strangers. Even if they are half siblings. Doesn't make one family. You have determined your family for your mental health. Your dad made a messy situation and doesn't seem to be in anybody's life. Info. How did Mom5 have all of your info and contact info to be able to put you down as a secondary for her kid? NTA. You don't know this kid but you're down as emergency contacts? Hard pass. Could you have made sure the kid wasn't in earshot? Sure. But really her mother set her up to get hurt. Since she knows how y'all feel. Where was mom and dad anyway? Edited to add. Block mom 5. NTA. Wow has your dad ever heard of a condom? Mom 5 had a lot of nerve to drag you into all this. If she has an issue with the family set up she needs to have a more formalized meeting with all of. You not just add you onto an emergency list for a child you don't know. But like someone else said. Why were you added? It should have been your father. This can't be real. The school can't force you to come in or make any real threats that would impact you rather than. The child and mother you claim to have zero feeling for. Mum 5 should made sure you were happy with the responsibility of collecting her daughter. She didn't. You weren't. NTA. NTA. No one can put you on an emergency contact list without your permission. Blood or not. You are not responsible for your five-year-old sister. Especially since you're not her parent. I can't believe the school allowed this to happen. Mom 5 has zero regard to your boundaries. Why would Mom 5 put you down as an emergency contact for someone you haven't met? Why would the school be comfortable with that? I would like to know what threats the school made against you. They can't force you to take your sister. Is your father by chance Nick Cannon? Wow that's a lot. I feel like this was Mom 5's attempt to force a relationship with the kid. NTA. Mom 5 was the one that put the kid in the situation to be hurt. Op is not to blame. Phew. I can see why Op drew a line. Is your father Nick Cannon? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.